it like a pirate. Star, R, right? It's a good way to remember. Um, or port, four letters with left. When you're getting into these boats, um, you're going to be in doubles. The person in the front's going to be getting in first. And one thing you want to avoid is standing up in these boats because you're going to be over the water. They are tippy. Um, so what you want to do is you want to straddle these boats. We're going to help you keep them steady. And then what you're going to do is you're going to get your butt down. You're going to get one foot in and then the other, just like so. And then what you're going to do is you're going to get five points of contact. So you have one point of contact in your butt. You're going to have two points of contact with your thighs and your knees underneath the thigh braces. And then um, you have alongside here what are called foot pegs. And those are going to be where your feet go at about a 45 angle, degree angle with the balls of your feet on those foot pegs. And those foot pegs are what's going to control, for those of you who are in the back, your rudder. Okay? So when you're in your boat, you have these lovely spray skirts. And we'll help you get these on. But what you want to do is you want to lean back, get the back on first, and then pull forward. So that's covering what's called the combing of your cockpit. And then when you're in your boat, you want to remember a few things when you're paddling. There's a nice acronym that I like. It's called PEARLS with a Z at the end. <laughs> um, P is for posture. You're going to sit up straight. You don't want to be leaning back like this. You don't want to be leaning forward like this. You want to be sitting up nice and straight. E is for extending your paddle. You want to extend it at a um, right where your toe is. And then A is for angle. So you want your the angle of your paddle to be just 45 degrees. You don't want it way high like this. You don't want it in like this. You want it at 45 degrees in at your toe. And then what you're going to do is you're going to rotate your torso until your blade lines up with your hip and you're going to bring it on up. So in at the toe, rotating out the hip. In at the toe, rotating out the hip. And you want to keep an L loose grip on your shaft, which is this bar right in front. Because if you start gripping and pulling like this, you can get really tight knuckles. I've woken up and I'm like, ah, I can't open up my hands. Um, you can get tight knuckles and, so you, and also you start pulling. And what you want to do is you want to push forward. Paddling is about 80% pushing and 20% pulling. And so the way you hold your paddle is remember that Aquabound logo. You don't want it to say the bird got okay. You find the middle of your paddle put it on top of your head and you make a 90 degree angle with your arms and line up your knuckles with the top blade just like so. So remembering that toe to hip and that rotation. So if you have all the pearl, the posture, the extension, the angle, the rotation, and the loose grip, then you get to the Z, which is Zen. And you are paddling in a state of Zen. All right? So some other things you might see me do on the water is um, you might see me put my paddle up straight in the air, and that means everybody come to me. If I point in a certain direction, that's the direction I want you to go. I will never point in a negative direction and say, don't go over there. I'll only point in a positive direction. If I put my paddle straight up like this, that means I want everybody to stop. And if I go like this, that's a question and an answer. It's going to say, hey Vince, are you okay? And if you're okay, you just respond with the same. Makes a big O. I'm okay. If you're not okay, scream, thrash, scream around. <laughs> indicate some way that you're not okay, but hopefully we've indicated that before it gets to that point. You also, some of you have whistles on your PFDs. I have a whistle on mine. If you hear one whistle blast, that means attention. Two whistle blasts means, or I'm sorry, three whistle blasts means emergency. And so if you hear a whistle blast, make sure that you pay attention and listen for instruction, okay? Um, some people might have a tendency to want to blow the whistle out there. Um, if you have that tendency, you can get it out of your system right now and in the next five seconds. So we're going to count to five, and if anyone wants to blow their whistle, they can blow it now. One, two, three, four. Uh, okay, no more whistles. <laughs> Only in case of emergency or you need to get our attention, okay? Um, so that's the forward paddle. Those are some signals that you're going to see me do. Um, you're going to be in doubles, and so the more that you synchronize your paddle strokes together, um, the more efficient you're going to be and that's gonna be communicating between the two of you. Like I said, the person in the back is gonna be in charge of using the rudder, so you're in charge of steering. The person in front is gonna be in charge of setting the pace. If you're going forward and you wanna stop, then you both need to back paddle, and it's just the opposite of that forward paddle, hip to toe, hip to toe. And if you're going backwards and you wanna stop, you put in a couple of forward strokes. But if you're not doing the same stroke, 
you're not gonna stop the boat. So just remember you need to communicate in that sense. All right, any questions about that so far? Okay, <laughs> wonderful.